Next, let's talk about perception of color. And I've got a picture of a color wheel. And first off, color wheels and the exact wavelengths are uh, a little different depending upon who you do it. This is the color wheel that we're going to use. And the way that this works is we're going to call this red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And what we're going to see is that if you have a substance like a transition metal complex, although these are not the only ones, but a substance with one absorption in the visible range, let's say, sorry, one absorption wavelength, in the visible range, the color absorbed is opposite on the color wheel to the color uh, observed or transmitted. So color absorbed is opposite color observed or color transmitted. And observed and transmitted are two ways of saying the same thing. So let's see what this means. If you observe something, so observe, something that is green, like a leaf, then uh, that, so like leaf, then it is absorbing red light. And this is a simplification of how a leaf works, but it is uh, because they are more complicated than this. But in general, one thing you can think of is if it's green, then it absorbs red. If it's blue, so appears blue, uh, then it would absorb red. Sorry, absorb orange, <laughs> like so. And also, if it appears orange, then it absorbs blue. And again, this is a simplification, but that's uh, one way of looking at it. Now, um, it is a little more complicated than that, but let's look at this. So we've got an absorption of two nickel complexes here. We've got, oh, yeah, there we go. This one right here, nickel with six water ligands. And this one over here is nickel with six ammonia. And that's going to be two plus as well. And what we can see here is that in the visible region, well, there's almost in this visible region, another one. So it is already a little more complicated, but let's go here. In the absorption in the visible region, we would call this lambda max because it is the wavelength of maximum absorption. And if we go down here, it's right around 700 nanometers. And 700 nanometers is somewhere in here. So uh, absorbed. Red. So appears green. And this is true if you ever see nickel uh, with it, so which nickel chloride or something, meaning the chloride is the counter ion. Nickel H2O6 would be the transition metal complex. It does appear green. And then here we've got, uh, oh, I found one that actually had it labeled wavelength. 
equals 579 nanometers. And that's going to be just this side of 580. So we might say that this is uh, yellow orange absorbed. And that's going to mean that it's going to appear. Let's see, so it's just on this side. We might call it um, purple blue. Uh, appears. And again, this is a first order approximation of how things work. Uh, and it works well as long as you don't have more than six colors or so. Or, you know, I guess purple, blue, and yellow, orange kind of combine them, but there are six basic colors. 